Good morning, dear students. Welcome to the Garden School. We are moving to the associate chapter of Around the World in 80 Days. It's a poem, The Joy of Travel by Merlin Lott. Merlin Lott is an American poet. She likes to travel a lot and based on that travel, she wrote poems. Before reading the poem, we can do a warm up exercise. Read the title of the poem and think what images are coming to your mind while reading the title of the poem. You draw those images to your notebook and send it through Teams. So we can move to the reading part. Read this poem to know what the writer has to say about the joy of travel. So while reading this poem, we will get a clear understanding how did she enjoy each and every travel. What a thrill it is to travel, perhaps in a different country. The cultures incredibly diverse, so many wonderful things to see. So while we are traveling, even if it is to some other country, see we can enjoy a lot of scenes. Each and every culture is unbelievably different. It is different in all senses. So many wonderful things to see. So if we are moving to some other part, definitely we can see many new things. The clothes can be so different, unique in their treasured styles. An entirely distinctive kind of people with their friendly, happy smiles. So, while we are watching them, the clothes, the attire, the body language, everything will be different. Unique in their treasured styles. Each and every place has its own culture, its own tradition and its, its own fashion. An entirely distinctive kind of people. People are different and unique in each and every part with their friendly happy smiles and uh, definitely they are with friendly happy smile so they will be the host of those place or those countries and they will welcoming us with a happy friendly smile and the food can be quite challenging different taste and how they eat but hey, I'm ready to try it. Doesn't have to be potatoes and meat. So along with the other culture, the food culture is also different. It will be really challenging. The food patterns are different and the way they are eating is also different. Some are using spoon and fork, some are using hands, some are using chopsticks, but the eating style is also different according to the country and culture. But hey, I'm ready to try it. Whatever it may be, the taste or the eating style, I'm also going to try it. Doesn't have to be potatoes and meats. Even if there is no favorite food of mine, I'm going to try it. But hey, I'm ready to try it. Doesn't have to be potatoes and meat. So whatever it may be, the food culture, whatever may be the food, and I'm, the poet is saying that I'm going to try it. And even if it is not my routine food. Different ways and thoughts of worship. It is such an international treat. To see the different cultures and all the interesting folks you meet. The poet is saying that each and every country has its own religious belief. It is such an international treat. It is something like an international treat. And it is an appealing thing for me. To see different cultures and I'm really happy to see different cultures and all the interesting folks you meet and we are meeting many people, many cultures, many things. So everything is different from our routine style. So if you get a chance folks, get on a plane or a cruising ship, take yourself to another country, have a great and wonderful trip. So if you are you're getting a chance, maybe it is inside your country or outside your country, whatever it may be, if there is a chance, the poet is saying that get in a plane or a cruise ship and try to travel. Take yourself to another country, have a great and wonderful trip. Take yourself to another country and have a wonderful trip. The poet is telling us the joy of travel. 
while she is describing about the joy of travel she is telling us about the food patterns the culture the religious belief and the clothes they are using so each and every country got its own culture religious belief and style of dressing so this is about the poem the joy of travel by merlin lot you move to the reading comprehension do it we will meet you in the next class till then goodbye